All right, we're going to talk at Basecamp with how to forward emails. So we're going to go ahead and go into our MBI HQ. Again, this will work in any of the projects or teams. So over here, you have this thing called email forwards. And they show two di different ways to do it. I'm just going to focus on this number two right here. You can use number one. Um, it just takes an extra step and you can go ahead and read it. But really using number two is the best because all you have to do is copy to the clipboard right there. So now I've automatically copied it and I can put it in my email. And the cool thing about that is I can go to L13 and do the same thing and be able to, and that's, that's a unique URL just to the L13. And there was a unique one for the Mission Builder HQ. All right, so I've got an email open that I want to forward. So you wonder sometimes, well, what's this really for? Well, when you're on a team or a project, maybe even HQ, but probably more for teams and projects, sometimes an email gets exchanged that really would be good for everybody to see and not just forward the email to everybody, but actually bring it into the team or the project. And so this is an easy way to do that. And then people can actually comment on this email inside of Basecamp. So what you want to do is you come over and you're just going to forward this email. And I'm just going to forward it to that little URL that I was copied. And all you got to do is hit save or hit send, sorry. And then we'll head on over to Basecamp. Give it a few seconds to get over there, but it normally comes over pretty quick. All right, so let's go ahead and come on over here and let's check out that. And we can see that it's come in. And here you've got your email. There was also an attachment with that. And the nice thing about that is if the email does have an attachment, it'll automatically come over and then I could download this Thanksgiving letter. This is from Brad Rao to uh, myself, but just kind of highlighting from MBI some cool things that's been going on in South Africa. So then we could make some discussion on it and then I could also add or remove people to it. All right, so if I wanted to say, all right, I want to go ahead and have Andrew, Don, whoever, then they can all, then they can all see it. This function doesn't get used very often, but as I mentioned, there are times where it's helpful or an email may have been going on and the rest of the team could see it and it really would be easier if it was all in the project or the team. So that's really all I'm gonna say on the emails and forwards. It's a great little feature, but just not used very often.